Hi guys, welcome to the, I think, fourth weekly isolation vlog. This is more going to be like a monthly one, but I'm not going to be filming as much this month because honestly, everything's just pretty much the same and it's just me in my room, so I'll try and make a video of something and yeah, that'll be the video. <laughs> they just had another Fudari delivery, so we've got some... This is a medium fruit and veg, no potatoes box because it's got like a whole sack of spuds still. There's so much in here. I've got some green grapes this time. Oh yes, very happy with this. Very, very happy. So I'm a little annoyed at the minute because I um, ordered a bunch of stuff in the Erin Condren Insiders um, release on Monday the 27th. It's now Friday the 1st of May. Oh, your DPD. Now I need FedEx. Um, and FedEx messaged me this morning saying, oh, we're going to be delivering it today instead of on Monday. So I was like, yes, awesome. It said before 12 o'clock. It got to about 10 past 11. I got an email saying it'd been delivered. And I was like, no, it hasn't. I haven't got anything outside. There hasn't been any vans outside all morning other than my Asda delivery. Um, this is now, I think, the sixth parcel I've had with FedEx from Erin Condren that has now done this. I've had one where it actually turned up at the correct time at the correct house. I've had two that got sent to the wrong house and the person brought them up to me. I've had one where um, for some reason even though my sister was in they took it to our neighbours so I got it later and there's one where it said it got delivered and then it turned up like eight hours later so I'm hoping that's the case for today but I'm not going to hold my breath but I've just called them and I've emailed them and just like look what has happened this is like the fifth sixth time this has happened now. It's not great that you keep doing this like where is it because someone's apparently signed for it under the name t-p-r-e-r -E so it's like t-pr so apparently someone signed it as me saying it's been delivered and it hasn't so i'm hoping that maybe they've scanned it by accident and they've just signed it but it's still gonna come here but every time i hear like a lorry or a car now i'm just like out the window but yeah not very happy about that so if it turns up, I will let you know. Because I'm not very happy now. This is this has happened so often. This is why I don't order a lot from Erin Condren. Unless I do like a big bulk buy. Because otherwise I'm just going to have thousands of packages keep going missing all the time. And this one's actually the most expensive one. This was about $170. So not cheap by any means. It's nearly £150. So. Oh, I'm so annoyed. So it is now 10 to 3. Apparently my FedEx parcel was delivered at 11.14. At 10 to 3 it's finally turned up. I don't know if you actually saw me as I did that then but oh my god the panic I've had. I've had like three phone calls and emails and people like where is it? I think what's happened because it's turned up and he didn't say anything so I have a feeling it might be what happened the second time my parcel went missing out of like the six or seven that they accidentally scanned it and signed for it and then they just came and gave it to me at a later time and I think the fourth time that it went missing the man said he I got the email at like 7am saying it's on the lorry he said he didn't even get anything on his truck until about half past 11 which is when apparently it was signed for so I'm wondering if FedEx are just having some troubles over like this is in the last year I've had six six have gone completely missing and some were delivered to people down the road, some were apparently put over. One of them actually said it was delivered to my receptionist at my front desk and I was like, I'm in a house. But oh, I'm so glad it's turned out like the panic. Oh, okay. So as um, it is a bank holiday on May 8th now, because I changed it from the Monday to the Friday, um, I actually get paid May 7th. So I'm just sat here about to try and work out some of my budget. And then this will go in a video which should be up before this one. The excitement. <laughs> so you know, when you have a load of fake money, you just blow it all in a fake casino. If that was real money guys, I would be so happy. <laughs> I refound my Four Kings Casino game on my Steam account and uh, I've been playing bingo and poker for like the last hour. <laughs> oh man, the things you do when you're stuck in isolation. Do forgive how dusty my laptop is. This is my person. Very black and red Harley Quinn theme going on here. 
Still can't believe I didn't realise this was the perfect height. This is what you're actually currently sitting on is my makeup stand. <laughs> um, but I have makeup on today because I um, was hoping to get someone to go collect my medication last week but there was a bit of a problem with the doctors and now they sent it to a completely different pharmacy and no one can go collect it for me because where the doctors have had to move it around I now have to physically go and get it myself so um, we're there so I'm going to go and get that in just a second I got um, a little mask off of Etsy so I'm going to have to wear that while I go up there um, but I'm hoping it won't take me too long it opens at 9, it's now half past 8 so I'm going to leave in about 10-15 minutes drive up there and go way outside until that opens. It is so windy as well, so I have to pop my hair up. But oh, I'm not meant to be going outside, this is the point. But no one can go collect it now because it now says on my prescription only collectible by me. I can't even have my mum go get it for me. So, yep. Gotta go out, gotta wear a mask, and then hopefully I'll be there and back really quickly. I don't want to have to wait. Hopefully they should have already already um, ready to go, so I should be able to just collect it and pay for it. So, but we'll see. Oh, I haven't filmed anything guys, I'm so sorry, this could be like the worst video. <laughs> but, isolation, what can you do? So my addiction to the fake online casino is just getting worse and worse. <laughs> just heading back into the uh, bingo room, waiting for the current game to finish and then I will go play. Done a little colouring in of a fish. Not my best work, but kept me away from a screen. <laughs> so I had a uh, boots delivery come like at the start of this whole quarantine thing and the minute it's holding some of my snacks and the rest of it I actually have under here. There's like a bunch of random bits and pieces in there, but this is how I make sure no one steals my food. And up here I've still got some Easter eggs <laughs> to give to my friends and their kids and I'm pretty sure that by now they're probably slightly... Yeah, they're slightly soft because it's like scorching hot outside. I mean, it's currently, um, I think it's 27 degrees out at the moment, so it's very hot. So I'm sat here with a fan on. I'm just going to go on back to my little casino game. That was really close then, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my casino game in a second. I'm watching the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 7. I started Season 1 at the beginning of um, lockdown and I'm literally at the end of Season 7. I'm going to try and finish all that before I go back to work uh, next month. And I've just managed to order a new EpiPen. So hopefully when I go up to the farm, so I'm going to have to go collect that probably on Monday. Maybe maybe Saturday? Don't know yet. Um, hopefully they'll actually have one because it runs out next month. And I forget I have this little ledger. Um, <laughs> and I'm actually going to need that because once that goes... I won't have anything. I have a severe nut allergy, if um, you don't know that about me. Um, and I've never actually had to use one in the what, 11 years I've discovered I've had it, but the one time I actually needed it, my EpiPen was out of date and the paramedics wouldn't administer it to me, so I ended up in A&E for a lot longer than I would have done. So definitely going to make sure I've got that. The prescription charge has obviously gone up a little bit, but I have enough in my medical cash envelope especially on my card so that'll pay for that and I've got to worry about that so much so yeah doing okay it's really really hot today so this is my new this is my attempt at a french braid it's not like the best thing <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing normally I have them like my the um two that I think you see me do before but I just wanted to just do one out of the way I can't do them I've got this huge bit of hair at the bottom that's got no plait in it at all there's bits everywhere what do I care I'm in lockdown no one can see me <laughs> So we were looking at going for um, a six day holiday, like a Monday to Saturday, because obviously we'd land on the Sunday and I'd be back at work on Monday, that sort of holiday. So worked out like random dates, so September and October I have a week off then, but obviously with everything going on in the world that's probably not going to happen. So did all of that and then we looked at doing the same thing for Universal and Kennedy and then maybe doing a longer one if I can get more time off work. Just a little something that we did, this all includes no spending money. but. I won't scroll up because it's got the um, villa details, but <laughs> yeah, could happen. Some of the uh, aftermath of me filming my plan with me. <laughs> so we're actually over here at the minute. I'm just finishing off yesterday because I didn't actually fill it out. And then I'll film my plan with me for next week and I've got to do a monthly plan with me back on the casino. And yeah, working through it. Sleep.
Just uh, watching a bit of The Lion King. So, this is how much paper came in my boots parcel. <laughs> We're calling this pandemic fashion. <laughs> I have, what, is it an asymmetrical top, did you call it? You've got an um, asymmetrical oh. neckline. And if you turn around for us, it covers the back very nicely, <laughs> very nicely indeed. Then we've got a nice skirt here with a bit of caping just at the back. And all the tight buttons. Yeah, and that's the cape. Buttons. Buttons at the front. Yeah. And then we have a leg warmer. The leg warmers. Yep, yeah, they're asymmetrical as well. Let's we'll have a good look at those. Yep. Just give us a 180. Very good, very nice. Yep, so uh, this is pandemic fashion done by my sister. Because what else have we got to do when we're in lockdown? I'm an artiste. So she's an artiste. And the thing is, I can't move my arms much further than here, so I'm sort of like a penguin in paper. Oh, right sorry, now. I wasn't filming your arms. Yep, you're basically a paper penguin. And because she's stuck it to me, I can't get it off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, fashion. Got the old El Paso soft taco shells for dinner. Got minced beef, onion, and peppers in them, and I put a bit of cheese on mine. I've already had one. I have four today. Um, the pack was actually going to expire soon and we had some mints so I was like that's cool I've got some dad's got some this is probably the biggest dinner I've had in lockdown so I'm going over to see mum with my sister later for like a social distance lunch so I'm actually putting on makeup for the first time in like three months <laughs> and the makeup is done oh that feels so weird having like a full face on but I just thought I'm going out it literally was going to my mum's I couldn't go around without makeup on if I wanted but I was like I kind of need to start remembering how to do all of this because it's been like three months I think I maybe wore some maybe about two weeks in maybe three weeks and I haven't worn anything since and it's now week 10 I think I can't remember where I am now um but yeah full face very nice it feels weird I've got stuff on this is this is new to me again <laughs> just had a little lunch at mum's in her garden social distancing of course he's my beautiful sister and we have the greenhouse and what were these pots for that mum gave you um they just are they just are oh, they're just things they just exist yeah. yes and my little lunch box which is the one i take to work with me don't know if you can actually see that but i've been doing french plaits in my hair for the very first time in this quarantine and i think i finally got one that looks sort of normal yay <laughs> So I haven't filmed for a couple of days because I'm not feeling great. I think I've got like a head cold or something. I normally get one about this time of year and it's been a few months since I last had a cold so due for one. Don't think it's anything else. I've literally been going to the pharmacy to get medication and I've been wearing a mask so I like to think it's nothing else but I think it's just a cold. I've had like a bunged up nose for a couple of days. My head is absolutely pounding. I haven't had this like bad head pains for a while and I suffer with hemiplegic migraines if I'm, I haven't mentioned that before but they're not nice. Sometimes they can cause paralysis, which thankfully I'm not experiencing any of that at the moment. It's just a bad head, so haven't filmed anything um, for a while and just still feel like picking up the camera. Um, I will end with this though. It's actually Pride Month at the moment. It's January. January? <laughs> it's June. I don't know what month I'm in. Oh god. Um, yeah, it's June at the minute, which is Pride Month. That's when I'm ending this. Um, this video will probably be going up a couple of days after I finish this actually and um, there's all these protests um, for the Black Lives Matter movement and though I have no words to express my feelings and stuff towards it because I don't know what the right thing to say is but I will never understand what black people go through I can only try and educate myself and understand what they're going through but I will always try and be a voice to raise awareness and raise their voices and you know try and be as anti-racist as I can obviously I have my own flaw sometimes I realize I can possibly think or say something that can come across as racist and then I realize I've said it and I was like that isn't who I am though um so it's just trying to educate myself and understand that this is an ongoing problem and I want to be you know actively helping so I'm all for the Black Lives Matter movement which if you've been on my Instagram the last few days you will have seen that I've posted a lot about that um, but again I don't know what, the, what to say but as a lot of people have been saying silence is compliance and I'm not going to be silent about that so um, yeah it's been it's been a weird few couple of weeks with everything obviously there's a pandemic going on in the world 
Madeleine McCann's back in the news. Black Lives Matter, that is everywhere and that should always be a thing. That is something I'm passionate about. And also, it's Pride Month. LGBTQ plus rights. Black Lives Matter. Black Trans Lives Matter. And that is something I'm passionate about. So, um, if you have any links or anything that could help me with this, please let me know. Or if you have any information that would be helpful, please share it with myself and you know everyone else down in the comments so we can like educate ourselves a bit better. Um, I hope this is making sense what I'm saying, um, but again, I'm a little white girl from England, I don't know anything about this, so just just trying to learn, trying to do my best to learn and trying to improve myself, so thank you for watching the vlog guys, sorry it wasn't like the best of videos, it's sort of a bit of a rambly one, again, stuff was happening, I just wasn't really filming it and I'm still not feeling great for the, from the, the last couple of days, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna finish this, edit it together, save it, and then I'm gonna go lie down and just chill watching TV so I can relax. So thank you very much for watching the video and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.